Welcome back, YouTube. Before we get going, like, share, subscribe, all the fun stuff now. We've got back soon, as promised. Second day in the trenches. Today's gonna be a monster again. Um, those of you who haven't seen the first video, please, please, please watch the first video where Bax tells you a little bit about himself and what he's up to and what he's got going on. Lots of valuable stuff. And like I said, in the description below, you will get all the links to Bax and everything that he's involved with and what he's doing right now. Now today is gonna be on the leg day and uh, I'm feeling good. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have some fireworks today. And again, a lot of value that we're gonna be able to take away from obviously Bax's knowledge and his eye for detail is incredible. So I'm always, a person that always, always says, surround yourself by some people that are smarter than you, and Bax certainly is one of the most intellectual individuals in the industry right now. There's a big difference between just being smart and being able to deliver what you know. Now, if he can deliver what he knows to someone like me, he can to you as well. And that is what separates wannabe educators versus real educators, and that is a fact, and that is the biggest difference. Also, New train by JP Clovin, as you can see, new garments are in. So if you see me getting changed halfway through, that's because I am shooting for the clothing as well. So basically I've got like sports pants on underneath here and you will see about five different outfits throughout the session as Meg will probably hand me some stuff over. So if you are thinking, why is he wearing different clothes? That's exactly why. And if you want to buy your own, get on tradebyjp.com, use my code Kuba10 and we'll get after it. But Gax, what's the plan of action? What we're going to do? I'm obviously going to have planks and shit because I like doing it. Yeah. And then uh, any any stuff that you want to do in terms of mobility drills or whatever you want to do, you can just lead the way, right? Yeah. The session's going to be simple. Adductor, like like curl. I like to start adductor. Yeah. Remember my little thing that you did yeah. in the seminar? Yeah? yeah. Adductor is always, always to begin with, for me anyway. Yeah. One, I need more adductors. And for me, doing adductor, I should prep into the session really well as well. So adductor to start with, line leg curl, leg extension, hack squat. Now, I'm doing leg extension at the moment because if I don't, I'm gonna end up doing like five, six plates on a hack squat. Yeah. So for, at the moment, I do like to do leg extension, then a hack squat, then we're gonna do leg press, then we're gonna do split squat, 45 hyper, calves, and some lats. There you go. So, like I said, that's gonna be the session, guys. And then I'll let Bax touch on what we're gonna cover and, and how we're gonna cover it as well. And then, uh, like I said, after the planks and shit, if you wanna do any, any stuff, as well, Billy, as well, we'll get that done, and hopefully, Bax can fix Meg's knees. If anyone can do it, he can. I just have ridiculous pain. When? Um, firstly, on a leg extension, when I'm going up. Yep. Where, like right where, show me where. Right in the front. Yeah. On both, bilateral, both sides. Um, what makes it better besides probably doing hamstring curl? Hamstrings. Doing hamstring? Yeah. 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 Um, does it like stay around or just while you're? Um, it, it stays around for like the, the evening and then the next day and then it goes. Okay. What is going now, people generally pay a lot of money for. So I suggest you tune in and watch it step by step. Keep that straight. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So. I feel okay. I feel okay. Uh, is the right side worse than the left? This side's worse. The left side is worse. Yes. The knee? Yeah. So. Uh, go both up like this, both both feet up. Okay, like you're gonna do a bridge almost. Okay, so similar to before. What I want you to find is pressure here, right? Both sides. Pressure here, pressure here, and pressure on your big toe. So like five squats. Take a breath in slowly through your nose. Take a breath out. And I want you to push your feet into the ground. The whole thing and then kind of pull them towards your butt, but they won't move. You'll feel a little bit of hamstring. Feel that? Good. And then take another breath. And then use that hamstring to tilt your pelvis back. Like you're squishing your back into the ground. Yeah, with your hamstrings, not your abs. 
Good. Exhale. Good. Find that. Feel that tension. Take another inhale, but keep a little bit of tension here. Good. And now bridge up uh, just a little bit. Right there. You should feel hamstrings. Good. And then deep inhale. Don't lose those squats. As you exhale this time, squeeze your knees together just a smidge. Good. Go like five or six more breaths there. Real slow. You see how she's starting to shake right now? Because we're doing things she hasn't done in a long time. She's just lying on the floor. It doesn't seem very hard. How's this feel? Hard? Hard? You should feel hamstrings and adductors. Good. Two more breaths. Good. Slow exhale. All the air out. You should feel more hamstrings as you exhale. Again. Good. Relax and stand up. Most people who can't grow glutes, everyone who can't grow glutes, it's because their glutes, they don't have troubles contracting their glutes. Their glutes are already on 24-7, 365, and their glutes are squeezing so hard that their pelvis is jammed into a certain place and they actually can't relax them, right? So if I can't relax them, I can't contract them, right? It's already contracted. If a light switch is on, I can't turn it on anymore. So basically, if you do any glute thing, your glutes are already on quite hard and they can't, you're bad, like, trouble turning them off. What we did there, adductors, hamstrings, we're trying to change the shape of your pelvis. You feel like it was extremely hard for like something that seems very simple. This is we haven't been in that position. But now, what we're gonna do is that same thing. If I was to give anyone one cue, it would be foot pressure. Heel, behind the first toe, behind the fifth toe, and the big toe. Right? If we can keep pressure there, whenever our foot is on something, so like warm-up split squat, goblet squat, lunge, half squat, leg press, most people are just falling over, right? And that's similar to like, I wouldn't do a chest press and just push into the, I wouldn't do this into the machine, I would press with all of my hands, which is the same, it's just we don't walk in our hands, so like people kind of get messed up. So what you're gonna do, with a slant board, all of these things, an anterior load and a slant board are gonna push you forward more, which is already where you are. So your body kind of has two options. Either A, fall on your face, or B, shift back so you don't fall on your face. So I would never use more than a 10 degree slant board. Uh, if you see a really high slant board, uh, like some of the ones over there, like a 30, yep. it's just like you're jamming all the weight on your forefoot and you're never gonna get any range. Uh, a 10, maybe a 15 for someone, some people, but a 10 and a five are where I would usually go. Like this would be like my go-to. It pushes you forward just enough that you can accommodate and shift back, but like a 30 would push you too far forward and you'd just be on your toes. Like imagine just doing leg day in like high heels. That's really what like a 30 does. And then it jams you into here, and then people get like a bunny in there, and they're like, oh, I don't understand. It's probably because of my shoes. Like, no, it's because you're just pushing too much pressure there. Right, so we need to get you back and find pressure on all parts of your foot. So what you're gonna do, real simple. You're gonna hold this out here. This is also gonna push you back. So you're gonna take a nice inhale, find some heel pressure, but keep the pressure on the front. So like I'm kind of heavier on the heel now. And then as you exhale, you're gonna allow your knees to travel forward, which is something that like, you're probably hesitant to do, right? And then as your hips, your hips are gonna go straight down, they're not gonna go back. So usually, that's, that's a bad habit, you know you're that. You're probably hesitant. This is probably how you squat. You're like, oh, I don't wanna stay in my knees, so you end up doing this right away, right? She even does that on the pendulum. I literally have to stand by the side, by the side of her, like, keep your pelvis tucked, because she's literally like, as soon as she gets in there, yeah. that's yeah. it. Right, so what I want you to do is, Full pressure on your foot, like we talked about. Breathe in. As you breathe out, hips come down, knees come forward. Obviously, it won't look like this right away, but it will in a couple reps, right? One, two, three, four. Pressure all of these squats the whole time. If we lose, pardon? Uh, yes, sir. If we lose pressure on one of those squats, that's when things 
start to kind of go funny, right? So if I have all, if I have only weight here, it's literally if you were to just take your hand and push on a chest press yeah. machine like this, it would make sense, right? But you see people lunge, they're like just all over the place, right? We can make a little bit more space. Like I'm pretty narrow here. Most of us won't be that narrow. Like I can create more space by going wider or towing out. But the same thing still applies, right? Like full contact, full. I should be able to do something close to the hip width, but like that's not really where I'm going to produce force. So like when I'm on the half or leg press, I'm probably going to go here or here to give myself a little bit more space to produce force. But I'm never going to lose all of those contact points, or else I'm just pushing with the side of my foot, and then that's when everything up the chain doesn't do what you want. Then I'm pushing. I don't know, five plates on the half yeah. with a foot like this. It's like, oh, no wonder I have knee problems. My knee can't rotate properly. Yeah. Take a breath in, slow. Find heel pressure, tuck your pelvis with your hamstrings, not your abs. Yeah, good. Good, come back up. Thoughts? I'm not very good at doing it, but yeah. Oh, how does it feel? It doesn't hurt my knee. Doesn't hurt your knee, okay, cool. That was a lot better than I thought it would be. No offense. But yeah, I like. Can we do a bunch more like that? Yeah. There we go. See. Looks like a looks like a half I've, squat. I've kind of been trying to get to do the same thing, but I don't have the the ways to articulate things as well, explain things as well as uh, as well as Bax does. So this is what I said. It's about delivery. There you go. Right. I'm gonna give you the cheater on this leg. Okay, I'm gonna cheat, this cheat code. She has troubles putting pressure here. She has a lot of, she can put a lot of pressure here. I need pressure here so her foot can change shape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this guy under here. Actually, I'm gonna put this side. There we go. Just like the hat, or just like the hip thrust. Now you'll actually be able to push into this glute, which will push you over to that side. So basically like this glute, would be more like on or concentric all the time, which would push you forward, which means this side is forward in space, right? So it can't really absorb force. You're just jamming into the front of the knee. Yes. If we can do that free weight on a half squat, it'll be easy. Beautiful. That's all we need. Good, notice her breath. She's not sucking in a lot of air, right? We're not posing right now. We're trying to make a change. We're trying to relax. We're trying to do the opposite of what we always do, right? On stage, when we lift heavy, we want to contract everything. Here, we want to relax, let the body go into a position. We earn that position, then we load it up. Now we feel good, right? If we're squeezing everything, we're never going to get there. Look at that. See how we have like a bit, we have a big arch here. So like a flat foot is not bad. A flat foot is a foot that can produce force. There we go, see? Good, now come up. Good, so this leg, it likes to like go out on the outside, you feel that? Yeah, a little bit. And this hip will get all jammed up. So try to keep all the weight there. Keep that inside of the heel as well. Yep. There we go, and then just straight down. Good. Find a little bit more heel pressure before you start. Yeah. So like shift everything back. There we go. And then that's better. Oh yeah. All right. So the changes we're making, we're not making changes to tissue. We're making changes to the nervous system. Right. So people don't have range of motion or they're stiff because their body thinks they're going to fall over. Right. Gravity. Gravity doesn't care. Gravity doesn't stop. Like the goal in life is to find food and not fall over, right? If we put Cuba in a position where his body doesn't think he's gonna fall over, right? Push him back, he feels a little bit more safe. He has immediate range of motion. Really simple. <laughs> like a ballerina, bro. That's all, that's all you need. Perfect. Yeah. Here we fucking go.
Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll put that around there. Just easy, easy. Beautiful ability. Keep that work, motherfucker. Come on. Yeah. That's it. There's educators out there that talk the talk, but very few walk the fucking walk. That's what separates a lot of people. Now, if someone doesn't walk the walk, they wouldn't be sharing the environment with me at all. Right, let's go. Right. Get 18 points, sir. Let's work, let's work, let's work. Beautiful work. That's you, that's you, that's you. Beautiful, that's it. Notice here, his back, right? He's not super rounded, right? A lot of people tuck, and they tuck too much, right? He's not super posteriorly tilted, but he's not anteriorly tilted. Key here is nothing moves, right? The spine position is not changing, which means the pelvis position is not changing, which means hamstrings are doing all the work. We don't have to be like super tucked down. I think that's like an overcorrection, right? It's like, oh, we need to tuck, and then people do this, right? It's like, no, you want to be here, and then just don't move anything, right? So you're not here, but you're not also here. You still have that natural arch in your back. Right? So I think it's pretty much the same principle as it is when you take posture with your pull downs as well. That's kind of what I imagine almost when I get into this, like I am doing a lot of pull down. And that way I'm actually bracing for my lats and it just allows me to keep a nice base with no extension or flexion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you view people here and they either overextend or overflex. But like I said, it's a medium balance where it's just like you've got to get it just right where there's none of this, it's just a straight line. Yeah, the key, big key is like your pelvis doesn't change position, your spine doesn't change position. I'd rather have an extended spine that doesn't move at all, then we're shortening a hamstring rather than a spine that's just going everywhere, then we're not doing anything, so. Beautiful, come on. Work for it. Oh, yep. More. Uh, again. All the way. Beautiful work. 16, not bad. Okay, do you feel how you're on the outside of this leg? I want you to be on the inside a bit more. Turn that in. Okay. Feel that? That's what I was trying to do during my set. I was fiddling around. Now the shin will rotate in as he flexes his knee. Good, get it there. Go. Perfect. And then keep this pressure here as you go. Good, that's dialed in. Now this work. Yep, 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 yep. And if you need me to shift, just shout me, yeah? Yeah. 
Good. Knees a little closer. Yeah, there we go. And then turn this in a little bit. There, perfect. There we go. Should feel way bigger contraction there. Perfect. One, two, seven, two. Yeah, keep the pressure the whole time. Eight, two. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Ten and a half. That was a half. Felt like a half. Yeah. Right, let's fucking go. I set. from there. Go. Yes. Right. Move him again. Move him again. Reset. Pause here and drive. Let's go. Right. Setting for the first set. Back off set. We'll just put in mid. Smoke them. And then we get the fuck after it. The real work starts when we get to hack squat. This is just fucking child's play. Light work. You'll feel the contraction will be infinitely more here. Okay. You'll be able to actually extend the knee. You can, it's hard because this pad, it has the indent where you don't want to be because everyone's there. All right, so find the indent, go a little bit in, and then internally rotate and as I extend I want to keep my knees there beautiful you're gonna feel a crazy contraction from rep fam ready there that's a shortened quad there it is keep the knee there go yeah bias quad muscles yes and no right like the joint works one way right the joint works by the muscle pressing on the joint then the knee moves if I'm pressing equally on both sides the joint is gonna go straight forward right if I'm pressing on one side it's going that way so I want to be equal
Depends on, yeah. Good. Find the man. There we go. There it is. Good. Keep him in as you go down. Shin gets jammed right there. You can see he did it a little bit on that rep. Come back up. Good. He, he needs to load the medial side, the inside a little bit more. So then as he comes down, this bone gets out of the way. Look at the shin. It can come over, come back up, right? So now we have no jamming in the shin, the ankle. We have no jamming in the knee. We have no jamming in the hip because the bones can slide, right? If I'm on the outside and I can't bring this foot in a little bit, this bone here doesn't move and this shin will just jam into it and people will say you have bad ankle mobility and then they'll give you a calf stretch and won't do anything, right? You just need to get your bones out of the way. One little cue, whoop. and now look, that bone's gone. This knee or this shin travels forward, easy. Sometimes, we talked about it, these bones need to get out of the way. They're kind of like Lego blocks, right? And when you're really strong and they've been jammed in a position for a long time, they need a little bit more help moving around, right? So if I pull, make a little bit of space, right? Push them down a little bit, we get a little bit more space in there, right? Now that shin, that foot can move, that shin can travel forward, and we get a little bit more even pressure on the hack. We had a little bit of hip shift off, not a huge deal, but at six, seven plates higher up in the off season, it might be a little bit of a big deal, so. Father. Like fucking nothing. So good. smooth, so good. Perfect. Show me your fucking middles now. Show me your middles, Max. Let's go now. You're taking the set all the way. More control in the eccentric and a pause. Control, pause, then drive. There we fucking go. Every rep like this now. Come on. There we go, tight, pause and drive. Now you're fucking working. Let's go, let's go. Pause. Now drive. There we go. Right, two more reps. Rebrace. Get tight. Come on. Show me now. Let's go now. Come on. Find it now. Drive. Everything you fucking got. One more fucking rep. One more fucking rep. Find your fucking balls now. Come on now. There we go. Pause. Drive. 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 You're right. You're right. Don't touch it unless I'm going back down. Headphones off after six rep.
for it. Yeah. Charge! Yeah. You have to do it yourself. Yourself. Yes! Yes! yes. Okay, come on. I'm not gonna talk it, don't worry. Come on, you're gonna have to walk. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's you. Yes. Beautiful. Go. 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 I want this set to fucking death. Let's go. Right, control and centric, more control, more control. That's better, rinse them, everyone. That's the right. And drive. Good. Your set's just fucking started, work. And drive. Right, one more, I want one more. You lost your brace there. Compose yourself, reset and go, come on. Let's go now. This is your right now. I want it easy. Everything, and work! Everything, everything. everything. Oh, yeah. ah! Beautiful, sir. Up. Too easy. Anything to adjust? Got it. Shouldn't need to this far in. Full contact point of the foot on the pad. And I'm fucking in, motherfuckers. Well. Right. I'm going to need you both. Because I'm just going to take it to fucking death. Yep. So if you need to pull weight off me, I'm going to need you both, yeah? In a push or pull session, you just don't get the same fucking... The same pain and the same enjoyment. The same fucking. Ugh, bites the nose, I mean. You know what I mean, don't you? Oh, yeah, of course. If you don't know what I mean, you need to watch another channel. Let's go. Focus, ah! now, focus now, I'll focus in this set. Yes. Right, let me just get fucking. Yeah? Oh, Make a time, stay composed, Three. one at a time. Two, one. Push. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> Here we go. Get better, get better rips, come on. Seven. Focus, 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 focus. Okay. Yeah. Has to be easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Drive. Drive. Oh, easy. Drive. Right. Easy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. With the speed of that one, at lockout, mate. Next rep would have been fucking spinal. <laughs> Unrack. <laughs> oh, there we go. I feel absolutely tremendous. Sleep's incredible. I wasn't happy that's the first set, so I took her back off. Normally, 
it's a single set on here. But days where I feel like I can put my head to that wall, I'm gonna fucking take it because I know I can. I know I can recover from it as well. We've got sushi after here, so we're gonna feed up and it warrants an extra set, especially when I get three extra reps on my back off compared to what Martin did on his first set. So yeah, game time. Biggest key, see how Kuba's off balance? Kuba's gonna come back, so two, two feet. Good, he's gonna stand on one foot first. His weight is gonna shift over this side. That's what we need. Now when he puts that foot back, as he goes down, if we were to look from the front, this hip is outside that knee, right? If he just puts his foot back, he's never getting in good position because that leg is gonna go way over there, right? Stand up first, he will shift his weight. He's standing, weight's here, takes one leg off the ground, weight automatically shifts over. Now he can find that foot pressure, puts that back leg on. Now when he comes down, this hip is outside this knee. That's what we want in a split squat, right? We're always out here. The point of doing a split squat besides loading one leg at a time, is to actually shift in the frontal plane over that leg. And if we just jam that foot back right away, I'm never getting there. I need to take this off, find my balance. Now I can find a knee that's inside my hip. Right? This guy's gonna have a tough time with it, but we'll get him there. I'm like a fucking ballerina, bro, so I can do it. Pretty much. Good, find the middle of your foot. Find here. Yeah, yeah good. Now put your foot on. Okay. Now put it back. Yeah. Good. Now as you go down, don't lose this. Keep this close. Close, close. Good. No, this, not just your torso. Put this hand on this hip. Now bring all that towards me. Yeah, there. Now oh, go down. Okay. Now go down. Watch. Yeah. And big stretch in that hip. And we can actually get this knee. Look at that. Quad or glute, you take your pick. Put the load either way. Right now we have the range to do anything. He wants to open up away. He's gonna keep this closed as we go. Then he won't get a strain on this quad. As he goes down, knee, knee in. There, perfect. Knee, foot, hip outside. Okay. So, I would almost do for you, if I was writing your program, it would be warm up like we did up there. It would be maybe keep the balls up, right? It would be two sets, not till failure here. Just light sets. Dialed it in second half. It was good, you felt? You're on the outside a little bit. Dialed it in second half, it was good. Could feel it, could feel it. Yeah. Could feel the pressure on the outside, but then, see, I can't count right, but stuff like that, I'm a little bit more in tune with it. Yeah. I think that was 15 anyway. So fucking death backs. Come on. So if I'm here and I'm forward, see my toes? They're gripping, I'm falling over. I shift back, see how balanced I am? My toes aren't gripping, my foot can change shape. Now I just move around that foot. All right, so shift back a little bit, find heel pressure. If your toes are gripping, your foot's never gonna change shape. You're never gonna get this yeah. if you're like this. So shift back a little bit. If the foot will relax, you'll immediately dial it in. You'll feel way more balanced, then we just work. If foot can change shape, arch comes down, Arch goes up, it's smooth. When he starts to lose it, which he's not doing, that's when it kind of gets all wobbly. But right there, that's perfect. That's what we need. Go on. Yeah. There it is. Like that. I was talking, you were uh, you were giving a good example. It was perfect. Perfect. I had to find it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could feel it though, right? Yeah, 100% like, straight away. So as soon as I was the balance, I knew all I had to do is just put pressure down on the foot again. Back on, back on. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Like a flat foot, not a bad thing. Oh, I got flat feet. Yeah, that's just a foot that's ready to produce force. 
high arch, not a bad thing. If I'm stuck here or I'm stuck here, then I'm fucked, right? Find the foot pressure, allow the foot to change shape as you absorb force and produce force through every rep. But when you flare the feet, also flare the hips. So externally rotate here, there, now go. Perfect. Right, so like you wouldn't do an RDL or a stiff leg with like completely locked knees, right? And you're gonna wanna lock here to get more internal rotation, right? So like if I can't turn this in, I will lock here, right? A locked knee, a collapsed foot, it's just range of motion that we can't get at the hip. So we find it at the hip, keep this nice and soft. Now we can move through the hip. As soon as that knee locks, we're not gonna move through the hip as nice as we can. There we go. Perfect. And the foot pressure, same idea. It's the exact same. Dialed in right there. You want to kind of externally rotate a little bit. Yep. Unless I want pure hamstrings, in which like there's better exercises for length and hamstrings. Right? So here, it actually like I should almost line my feet up, or line my femurs up with the pads. It helps. And then my feet will kind of just follow. So for your hamstrings, just keep your feet straight. Yeah. Right? So but then this pad, I want if I wanted if I was to make a machine, it would have a little pin here, Atlantis take notes and it would go up, so this would be flat, hamstrings, pull the pin out, make it like this, now it's loose a little bit more. So here, if I turn my feet out, I need to make sure that my femur comes with it. Most people I'll just be like, feet out, but their knee stays in, and then they jam their tibia out like that. No one needs to be like this. You can tell it doesn't look good. You don't even need to exercise to tell me this looks terrible, right? So if you want to turn out at the hips, the feet will follow. I still have all my foot pressure, slight bend in my knee, and now I'm just jamming this in as I move around it. Bucks, do me a favor. Yeah. See here where it says reverse hyper? Just write it down. Yeah. Please. Thank you. No worries. Basically, I'm an idiot. So if it's written in my logbook, you know it's going to get executed. Let's go, big man. bad but your lats will do a lot of the work yep. you're lining up so if i'm here like you ever heard of like a jefferson curl yep. like that bent over shit it's just a lat exercise because my lat is stabilizing my spine i almost want to like keep this here reach less and then move through the hip see that and then my back doesn't really change and i should feel this jam into here as i go right if i'm reaching i can keep this here I can get all the way down. My hip hasn't moved a ton, but now the dumbbells are on the ground. I have nowhere to go, huh. right? So if I'm here and I'm almost thinking about hinging over, we see that like my yep, hips yep, are in yep. the air now. I can feel a massive stretch and then drive through I'll there. do another set. Yep. Good, hinge through here. Good, a little bit less reach. Reach with this. There we go. Reach, 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 reach. Drive. Slow it down. Good. Good, a little bit more reach through here at the very end. There. Good. Way better. Oh, yes. That's it. Night and, day, night and day difference, eh? Fucking beautiful.
Right, my people, that is the wrap up. Excellent session. Love having him back still around. He is, like I said, when Baxter speaks, we'll listen. And anything he says does tend to stick in my head like fucking glue, which I love. Um, and I, I don't really find that with many people, especially when it comes to more academia and the way people that, the way that people can relay information definitely varies person to person. So guys, if you need any help, reach out to Bax. It is amazing at what he does. And again, this is not a fucking sales pitch. I would not have him here if I didn't, if I didn't think that he's going to bring incredible value for you guys and myself in my own journey as an athlete, as a coach. So times like this are, are literally priceless. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, any final words? No. Thank you, guys. Share, like, subscribe, follow me, follow Kyle, and let's get stuck in. See you again soon, guys.